Good everybody, thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. Today is a beautiful Tuesday, 8th of February 2022 in Ghana, specifically central region of Ghana, specifically Afringwa, beautiful community with a lot of greens, yeah? As you can see. I mean, I love hanging around in this place because you don't have a lot of disturbances from people. People don't really, really intrude in your affairs. They do but they gossip just somewhere else. Unlike the cities where everybody's busy going up and down, but here, uh, they might talk a little bit about you, but hey, you don't care, do you care? All right, so I decided to bring you this um, episode of calling names or describing people, especially African-Americans and then the white people. All right, now I'm saying white people because we are, we are all learning. Now, a few days ago, I was having a class um, one of the classes and then we were learning about cultural exchange so cultural exchange then we came up with some of the point that how do people have different cultures and so one of them raised their hand and said sir through traveling and I'm like traveling tell me more then she said sir when you travel to somewhere even within your community or outside your region or outside the country you at least see certain things that people do. And when you think you're so interested, say, when you come back, you also want to do the same. And I'm like, okay, give that girl a clap. Then another person spoke, but during that statement of the second person, he made mention of obroni, obroni. In our language, obroni means a white person and someone who doesn't speak the Ghanaian language but speaks English, yes. So Obroni has, there are two factors that determines who an Obroni is. Either the person is white skin, not light skin like me, the person is white, very white. And then the person speaks other languages apart from the Ghanaian language. So the person might be speaking English or French or German or Dutch, if I should say so, or any other language. Secondly, even if the person speaks the English, the tonation to which the person speaks the English is also different. So these are the factors that describes someone to be Obroni. Or so during the lesson, the example the child gave me was trying to describe a black American. So he was saying that person is called Obroni. So now like I have explained to you, and I know most of you who are Ghanaians, living abroad or Ghanaians living in Ghana would also at attest to the fact that we normally call someone Obroni because of the language but mostly we use it on the white people so when you go to Cape Coast places around Cape Coast uh, around the castles you have these kids walking around and then when they see a white person they'll be like Obroni 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 trying to call the attention of that white person but now it has extended to African diasporas. Why? Because not the color, but the language, the tonation that comes with the English language. All right. So during the class, I was like, okay, I think there is a need for me to educate these kids about who an Obroni is or who an African diaspora is, okay? So I am sitting here trying to explain to you that maybe very soon, okay, I've seen these kids, let me call them and let's, they are in a different class. Hey, Sandra, come. All of you, come. Okay, I just wanna ask them, uh, they are take, if they have any idea of who Obroni is. Okay, come, come and sit here. Once, why the hey, Aquaman is one Anna. Okay, come, come, come here. All right, so I just called these kids to just ask them one or two things. Maybe after this, this is just the beginning of trying to unlearn what we've learned. So maybe after this discussion, I would have to call the whole the whole school, if not basic one to basic um, six. I would just call from basic seven. To basic now because they are a little bit older i'll put all of them together and educate them on why we are not supposed to call 
um, African Diasporas Obroni. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? We are fine, thank you. Okay, um, I'm, I'm also fine. Say hello to my, my people. Hello. Hey. <laughs> All right, so um, last week I was teaching, eh? and then we were talking about culture. You know, culture is a way of life, the way some people live. So when you come to Cape Coast, or let's just take Afringwa and Impesidias, the way we do our things, it will be different from the way they also do their things. You understand? So that is what we mean by culture. Maybe here, when somebody dies, the next two days, we have to bury the person. But when you go to another place, when somebody dies, they will say they have to keep the person for seven days to show whether the person will wake up or not. Do you think somebody will wake up from dead? <laughs> All right, so we are just trying to explain culture. Now, you see that sometimes people come here to visit. Those people, they are not from Ghana. They are from somewhere else, let's say USA or Canada. What name do you think we call those people? Yes, you. Obivini. Oh, <laughs> She's saying black person, just black person. No? Obroni. Obroni. Okay, so she has also said Obroni. Why do you call them Obroni? Because they speak a different language. Oh, because they speak different language. So they don't speak any Ghana language. So they are called Obroni. And you, what do you call those those people? You know, wait, I have brought people who are white, 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 white. And I've brought people who are dark. So those people who are dark, I know the white people, you call them what? Obroni. What about the black people? Black Americans. Black Americans. You call them black Americans. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you have a different name for them? Africa. Africans. Okay. So we have two different names. She's saying Africans. She calls them Africans. She calls you African. And then you. You. Come here. Uh -huh. What do you call them? Obroni. Okay. Black. Uh -huh. What? So black Americans. Black Americans. Okay, so now let's educate ourselves. Those of you who are saying, okay, she's right. She said black Americans. But the black people who are Africans, but they were not born in Africa. We can find some of them in different places, not only America. We can find some in UK or um, England. I think we call them Black British. Uh -huh. So when somebody is born in a particular country, the name that is given the person, if the person is black, even though the person wasn't born in Ghana or Africa, they will add black or Africa to it and add the name of where that person was born. So that is why we have a uh, black American. You see Auntie, yeah? the one who is helping us build a library. Do you know the country she comes from? No, sir. You don't know? Ha, huh? do you know? Where? US. US. She comes from US. So we will call, and if you are from US, you are called American. Oh yeah, American. So if she's black, we'll say black, because the color is black. Black American. Okay, let me ask you. Somebody who is black and was born in Canada. What name do you think that person would be called? Black Canada. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me, myself, I don't know. What are black Canada? Uh -huh. Black Europeans. Black Europeans. Okay, 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 okay. Clap for her. Well, we will say black Europeans. I haven't heard black Europeans, but... The word she's using is to describe, you know, in, in this world, right, we have continent, continent. We have, I think, seven. Africa is one. North America, Asia, Europe, all these people, we have some small, small black, black people there. If you are from Ghana, eh, you one day you travel to where? Where do you want to go? Eh? You don't know. Let's say you want to go to UK, eh? England, and you want to go and learn, go to school. When you go there, you will not be called Black British. No. 
Because why? Why? Why is it that they are not going to call you Black British? Why? Because you born in Ghana. Yes, because you are born in Ghana. So you you are not Black British. Live there, and when you get there, you will not be called that. But what if you are from USA? That's why I'm giving you a test. If you are born in USA, your parents are from USA, and they they give birth to you in USA, you'll be called what? And if you are a citizen of USA, you are American, so you'll be called what? And you are black, so you'll be called what? Black American. Black American. <laughs> black American. Okay. So anyway, at the end of the day, we will call the whole school and teach ourselves that if you see a black person who wasn't born in Africa, but born outside Africa, the person is not Obroni. Obroni is only for white people. Have you seen me bring white person here before? Yes. Sir. Eh? Yes, sir. How many? Was it a girl or a boy? Girl. Girl. <laughs> hey, I'm dead. Oh. Who? When? The one with the uh, tattoo? Last time we are playing netball at here. Uh -huh. When? When we are playing netball, then you bring him, then he give us money. Okay, okay, uh -huh. wait, this is a perfect explanation. You see the, that woman, okay, she's called Nisha. She had tattoos all over her body. Did you see it? Yes. Uh -huh. That lady is not Obroni. You know what, I have a friend called Nisha. She was born, I think, in UK by an Indian father, and, and an African um, African diaspora mother. So I think the color looks more of white. So when they saw her, they feel she's white, but she's not white. Why they color? Why shadow no color why white? Bananka so on your white into a friend of Brunia, Bana no beefu because on your Bruni Bruni, you'll be a no mammy and a no papa in our way. Abazi, why I coco. So I'm trying to tell them that she doesn't like it when you call her O Bruni because she knows the mother is is black, purely black, and we only call someone O Bruni when both parents are white. Do you understand now? So thank you very, very much. Yeah, give me blue. Okay, so you can go ahead and go and do what you were doing. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. All right. So, uh, in a nutshell, I think such discussions will really help both um, teachers, parents, you watching this video that uh, we have a lot to do to educate ourselves. And you know what? Even the elderly people, when they see... The African Americans in town or the African diaspora in town, they still call them Obroni. Yes, because you, you don't speak our language, you speak a different language. So I believe uh, one way of helping each other is to learn and unlearn what we've been taught. So I think um, next week, maybe I'll make a video of it. I'll call the whole junior high class and then educate them. I'm doing this because when you suggest something to me and I sit down, and I go through it. I'm like, yo, what you are suggesting is right. I mean, we have to educate ourselves to believe in us as Africans and not as Obroni. So, hey, thank you very much for checking me out. Comment and let me know about, you know, your take on this discussion. Did I do well? Or maybe I flopped somewhere else. But, hey, we're still learning. Ciao and thank you for being part of this video.